As you might have heard, Comet Ison is due to fly by the sun this November. Here are five eye-opening things you should know. I'm Sophie, and welcome to The Countdown. Officially, Ison's name is Comet C2012-S1. So why do I keep calling it Ison? It all goes back to the comet's discovery in September 2012. Two amateur Russian astronomers spotted it when they were scanning the sky as part of the International Scientific Optical Network, also known as ISON. At the time of its discovery, astronomers hailed ISON as the comet of the century. Although the comet may not be as bright as they hoped, it's still quite a sight. When the solar system formed 4.5 billion years ago, it also produced trillions of comets. Some of these icy objects collided with young planets, while others, including ISON, were tossed out of the system. Many ended up one light year away, in a cluster called the Oort Cloud. That's where Ison lived until some unknown disturbance pushed the comet off balance, starting it on a 10,000-year journey towards the Sun. Ison is the first comet to come directly from the Oort Cloud and fly so close to the Sun. It will come within 1.2 million kilometers of the star's surface, classifying it as a sun grazer. If Ison survives its flyby, it will curve back towards us, brighten, and make an even better spectacle. Even if it bites the dust, we can still learn a lot. The comet is made up of the same material as the young solar system because it has never been weathered by the heat of the sun. By looking at its makeup, we can learn more about how the solar system formed. There are a ton of eyes on Ison. On the ground, there are dozens of professional and amateur telescopes. Higher up, we have the standard orbiting telescopes, such as Hubble. Not to mention the Fortis telescope, which took a brief rocket ride to get closer to the comet, and a high-altitude balloon mission. Farther from our planet, a variety of instruments have been sneaking peeks at Ison. Photos have poured in from the Deep Impact spacecraft, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, Mercury's Messenger spacecraft, and even a solar observatory. You can get in on the fun, too, with free apps like Comet Watch, which tells you where to look to spot Ison. One thing these images show us is Ison's magnificent tail. As the comet gets closer to the sun and endures ever-increasing temperatures, it sheds particles of rock and ice. And some of this trails behind Ison in a growing plume of dust. The tail recently reached a length of 16 million kilometers. At this length, when you look at the comet from Earth, its tail takes up a big streak of sky, enough to appear as wide as the bowl of the Big Dipper. For Scientific American, I'm Sophie Bushwick. Will you be keeping an eye out for Ison? Let us know in the comments.